Welcome to our in-depth video covering the rugged JPTH-13M PoE pan tilt positioner. First up is an overview followed by some features and benefits, a few demos, and finally some actual customer applications. Questions can be addressed to info at j-systems.com or by calling 630-627-3458. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started now. This screen highlights just some of the key features and benefits of this rugged, small pan tilt head. It is very small considering it can carry a 13 pound payload over the top. It's rugged as well. Most all the gears are pre-hardened stainless or 4140 steel. Internal hardware is assembled with Loctite adhesive. It comes standard with variable speed made possible by a built-in microcontrolled closed-loop DC servo system. It's powered from 802.3 AF PoE power, so only one cable is needed for power and IP data. The built-in web interface makes control user-friendly and very intuitive. It uses 4096-bit encoders offering repeatability in the 0.1 degree region. The aluminum powder coated outer components with stainless steel hardware make this a very tough but high tech pan tilt positioner. Now let's take some time to review the graphical user interface, how variable speed and presets function, and finally a look at both the virtual and manual joystick operation along with auto patrol functionality. Shown on the right side of the screen are all of the web browser interface functions available on this main screen. The virtual joystick interface controls pan, tilt, variable speed control and diagonal movements by dragging the center red ball with your left mouse button held down. Variable speed is easily controlled by the distance of the red ball from the red arrows. The closer the red ball is to the arrow, the faster the speed. Both pan and tilt axes provide linear indicators and a degree readout. A short demo is provided. Watch the degree readout for the pan axis. Auto Patrol can be enabled by clicking the checkbox. This enables automatic cycling between up to 17 user-defined presets. This can be seen by the video on the right side of the screen. Now we're going to be cycling to the home position, preset zero. Internal head temperature and the 12 volt DC bus voltage are also displayed on this screen. The heater power function is not available on this unit. The video running on the screen is a typical auto patrol sequence. The top menu bar displays all the web pages available. 
We are not going to review each of these in any detail at this time. If you are interested, please refer to the user manual for the pan tilt head, which can be found on our website. The mini page provides a minimized view of the main page, which can also be resized down to a very small browser window. The preset page is where you can create and delete user-defined pan tilt presets as well as setting dwell times. The I.O. config page allows selection of the RS-485 serial ID when decoding Pelco D protocols. The network page is used for setting a static IP address, subnet mask, etc., as well as turning on DHCP. The password is also set on this page. The calibration and motion control pages are generally not accessed by the end user. These are all preset at the factory. The calibration page sets travel limits and, motion and the motion control page contains PID parameters for the DC servo system. And finally, the last tab takes you to the J-Systems website for any needed support. Now let's learn a bit more about presets. You can have up to 17 user-defined pan-tilt position presets. These presets also include the dwell time, which is the time the pan-tilt head pauses before moving on to the next position. The video to the right shows five presets being cycled through in the auto patrol mode with a 10 second dwell time between them. This is the perfect way to maintain excellent situational awareness across a large area. Worth noting is serial number 001 pan tilt head, which has been running almost non-stop in auto patrol mode since 2006 on an island in northern Lake Michigan where the temperatures range from plus 98 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer to minus 28 in the winter. Let's move on to the next demo variable speed and preset operation with a manual RS-485 serial Telco D protocol joystick. As mentioned before, 17 user-defined presets are allowed which can be used within the auto patrol function. The Pelco D protocol commands are decoded inside the microprocessor in the pan tilt head. The joystick provides excellent variable speed control of pan, tilt, and diagonal movements. This is an absolute necessity when using a large focal length lens looking out over long distances. This video shows how easy this is to use. While the serial line can be quite long, we can incorporate serial to Ethernet servers so that the manual joystick can be used anywhere in the world across the internet. As you can see, this system is extremely responsive. Here's how easy it is to recall a preset. The video shows how to enter 01 and then depress the preset key to go to that position. Extremely easy. Triping 02 and depressing the preset goes to preset 2. Typing 3 and depressing preset takes you to preset 3. Now let's go ahead and try setting a new preset. We simply move the pan tilt head to the desired new preset position as shown in the video. We are going to set a new preset number six. 
You press 06 and then hold the preset key for two seconds to set this new preset. Let's go to preset 3 and then type in 06 and depress preset to go to the new preset we just defined. It's that easy. The functionality of this virtu of the virtual joystick as well as, as well as the manual joystick are essentially the same. They're both very easy to use. Some users prefer a manual joystick like this while others like the web interface and the built-in virtual joystick. The JPTH-13M POE is world recognized for its rugged design and overall durability under very harsh weather conditions. We have two units that clearly demonstrate this. The first is serial number 001 which was installed in 2006 and has been running for 14 years nonstop on Beaver Island, Michigan, which is located in the northern portion of Lake Michigan, where temperature swings from a high of 98 Fahrenheit in the summer to a minus 28 Fahrenheit in the winter. The second unit has been deployed at the Port of Olympia in Olympia, Washington. It has been running since 2013 in a custom panoramic camera application. Other than a fatigue cable, this unit has been making approximately 4.5 million pan tilt moves per year for all this time. Both of these systems remain fully operational today. Here's a photo of the Beaver Island system. Many times this can be seen caked in ice and snow in the winter. Here's also a snapshot of the Port of Olympia panoramic camera. The panoramic image is live. It's worth noting that the gears in the pan tilt head are made from high tensile strength stainless or 4140 steel. Also, there is zero maintenance required on these units, even after 14 years of operation. The inside of these pan tilt heads looks like almost the day they were assembled. The next application to look at is the JPTH-13M PoE pan tilt head in our unique mobile mount system. This is a system that was developed for the USDA and is now being used across the United States and Puerto Rico to help manage destructive wild boar or feral hog populations. The mobile mount system incorporates a pan tilt head and a thermal camera for nighttime operation. The system includes a manual joystick, high intensity LED white lights, spotting laser, and is designed to mount on top of an off-road vehicle. The joystick allows the person in the truck cab to pan, tilt, turn on the LED spotlights and spotting laser. Video is wireless from the rooftop camera to a small tablet in, in the cab. This first picture shows the complete mobile mount system and joystick, including the magnetic mounts. The second photo shows another configuration of the mobile mount system with an additional high intensity LED spotlight. This is an ideal application for nighttime search and rescue operations. The on off magnetic mounts hold the unit securely on top of a vehicle. And finally the last image shows the shock isolated pan tilt head mount and the gimbaled magnetic mounts to fit any vehicle steel roof contour. The stainless steel D-rings are also provided to allow the use of, the use of a tie-down strap if needed. Viper Imaging LLC located in Birmingham, Alabama is a leading supplier of thermal imaging systems used in both industrial and process monitoring systems for substation monitoring, hotspot detection, as well as other critical asset temperature 
monitoring applications. The Viper engineers have integrated the JPTH-13M PoE pen tilt positioner into their control system to provide both manual joystick control along with automated patrolling functionality to minimize the need for multiple thermal cameras. The highly ac accurate preset repeatability ensures the thermal camera remeasures the same critical points each time. For information on Viper Imaging Unique's products, please go to their website at viperimaging.com. This last image is of a remote weather station which includes live video of a 360 degree panoramic view of a section of the Canadian Rockies. Temperatures here reach minus 35 Fahrenheit with substantially colder wind chills. The only access to this site is via helicopter so this system must remain operational at all times in all sorts of hard, harsh weather conditions. That's reliability and that's the JPTH-13M PoE pan tilt head. We want to thank you for viewing our video. That's a quick overview of the small rugged JPTH-13M PoE powered all weather pan tilt positioner. This unit is fully assembled in the U.S. and we design our own microprocessor control systems. The warranty is one year, but in all these years, we have yet to see our first warranty return due to a failure. If you're looking for an extremely rugged small pan tilt head for your next project, please give us a call to discuss your applications. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you later.